and me do not agree with each other. We are not friends in any way. I hate it. I hate the whole waking up process. But, you know who else? Look at this. There is Ian. Agent IQ. Ian, come Out on. cold. Ian. So we got... We came home from New York City late last night. New York City! We came home late. He passed right out. It's like eight hours later, he's still passed out. Today, we're spending our full day in New York City with Uncle Dan. He's going to show us around and going to the Empire State Building today. And then, uh, I don't know, I'm not really 100% sure elsewhere where we're going, but it should be pretty cool. Let's go. All right, so this is what North Jersey looks like. See, North Jersey. Very Jersey-like. So we're heading back over to the train station, which takes us into New York City. And we're gonna start our second day adventure. The problem here today is that it's raining. What's this weird fluid falling from the sky? I'm from Las Vegas, we don't get rain. Anyway, train time. So, Secaucus, New Jersey. Or Secaucus if you're from here, depends how you pronounce it. See this parking lot right here? I'm stunned. We've drove in $24 to park here for the day just to sit your car here. Look at all these cars here. I am in the wrong stinking business. Craziness, man. So now, yeah, we had a park here. I don't want to talk about it. So, here we go on the train now into New York City. All right, New York City. Madison Square Garden. This is the famous arena and building where they have all the main events and uh, specifically the New York Rangers. So there you go. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know what they're doing over there. There's like people walking in there and going through stuff like metal detectors and whatnot. But So we're in the city. We're going to go out to the Empire State Building next. And uh, it's cold and rainy. I'm gonna see if I can find a cheap knockoff of uh, like a sweater or jacket or something. And you know, in New York, cheap is a relative term. So let's get over to the Empire State Building.
there's Uncle Dan. What are we looking at, Uncle Dan? Is that Jersey? This Jersey. Yeah, you see the Statue of Liberty. It's hard to see, but it's over there. All right, Ian. I can see the whole city. So, what do you think of the Empire State Building? Good. What are you seeing over here? Um. Give me the tour. What are you seeing? A whole New York City. So. We are, I think, what, 86th floor of the Empire State Building, 1,050 feet up. I think the whole building goes up to like 1,450 if I'm not mistaken, so there's the view. Check that out. You know, a day like today, it's freaking cold, and it's all hazy out here. And in spite of that, still a pretty good view. They told us at the downstairs that it was not going to be a good view, but I mean, obviously it's not clear, but at the same time, it looks pretty good. You can see everything. I actually saw the Statue of Liberty. I think I tried to show it to you in the earlier video, and it just didn't. Uh, yeah. You can see like it's cloudy, and you can't really see the outline of it. But all in all, not too bad. A little cold, but there's no wind, so that's a good thing. I like a little cold. That doesn't bother me. But not too bad. Not sure where we're going actually from here at this point. But hey, we're in New York, so we'll just wing it as we go. That's how we'll do it. potato knish. It's like a turnover kind of thingy. Got a little ketchup on the inside of it. It's going to break off a piece. Not bad. Hot dog. Not bad. Not sure of the brand, but something I can't read. It's something Nika's, all beef sausages or something like that. Really good. Mustard. Got to do that. That's the potato knish. That's Interesting, it's a little turnover. I'm not really sure how you make that. And that uh, IQ over there is uh, destroying a pretzel, which is gigantic. Now, here's what the funny part is as you guys can tell, we're a little overweight. It's because we like to eat. We're actually going for Chinese food, but I've been wanting to try a hot dog stand, so this is a little appetizer snack that we're all sharing. Chinese food is next. Oh, yes, it is. So, I don't know how well you can hear me here, but. We're in a uh, authentic New York Chinese restaurant. Pretty cool, huh? Chicken garlic sauce coming my way. Chicken skewers coming his way. Generals, chicken broccoli. I'm very excited for this because I always hear about New York Chinese food, how legendary it is, New York pizza, the hot dogs. You know, that's part of the what I was telling Uncle Dan over here was is that whenever you visit somewhere, you gotta try the foods because that's the essence of a people. It really is. I mean, buildings are one thing, you know, cool natural stuff's another thing, or beaches or whatever. But the food is kind of what you remember, and it's what you always talk about. You say, oh wow, that food was so good. And um, so food's the essence of the people. And here in New York, it's such a, an eclectic diversity of everything. So, but a lot of these people here, they're like, Serious, like when they cook, they're serious. So let's see how this goes. Hot and sour. One ton. Look at that. You know, that was probably some of the best Chinese food I've had. Phenomenal, man. It's like the taste is still lingering in like a really good way. Just saying. So now, apparently we're going to Central Park. And this Kakamon Gats up here is going to take me on a subway, which I'm not really fond of that. I don't think I like subways. And Dan's going to take me on one. Aren't you? Yes, yes you are. Wasn't that Chinese food phenomenal? All right, she got something in her eye. I'll speak on her behalf. Yes, it was. It was really good. I liked it a lot. She liked it. Dan, don't, don't say anything. I'll speak for you. How was the Chinese food? Really good. 
All right, we gotta go now. Central Park. You wanna see the subway? Might have to show you that next. Subway or Central Park? I'm not sure which, which I'll film next. Bye. Yes. Possibly. Do they have ice cream? No. So this is Central Park, Uncle Dan. You're going to be on the, the Quinterrible vlog. You're an honorary Quinterrible. Say hi. Hi. We'll have to send you a t-shirt. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Apparently ducks like chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Thank you guys. 